What's brewing, coffee lovers? My name's Scott Bentley, and this is The Caffeine Show. This is a new web show all about the world of specialty coffee, and on this episode, we're gonna be talking about the latte levy, this little thing, and I'm gonna teach you how to make a coffee Negroni. We're gonna kick off the show today with possibly the biggest story that's happening in coffee at the moment, and that's the proposed government's uh, tax on disposable cups, also and quite affectionately known as the latte levy. For those of you not up to speed on this, we're going to leave some links in the description down below to the United Baristas blog and James Hoffman's blog, which we think probably cover the topic best at the moment. So first, we wanted to say that this isn't a new idea. This has been floated around since uh, 2016, where the Liberal Democrats wanted to put a 5p tax on disposable cups. This was obviously in reaction to what happened with the plastic bag tax, which saw an 85% reduction in people using the 5p plastic bags. Um, this, however, is now changing. Um, apparently that shock factor of paying for a plastic bag uh, is no longer as strong as it was. And um, they're now thinking of upping up to a pound a plastic bag now. So what does this mean for the consumer? Well, the government have decided that they'd like to put a 25 to 50p charge on each cup of coffee. That is to be applied on top of your current price. So if you're paying around 270 for a cup of coffee now, that could either go up to three pounds all the way up to sort of around 320 and that is a 10% uh, increase on that cup this is obviously far more than you would get on a bag of shopping which is around 5p and around 1% of what you would uh, pay for your shopping the government also believe that this will mean there'll be a 30% reduction in people using disposable cups. Those uh, so-called paper cups aren't actually recyclable in standard recycling facilities because the plastic inside, which keeps them waterproof, is a very tightly bonded to the, the paper on the outside. And so they need to go to special plants to be able to break these pieces apart and to recycle them, and it's rather costly. So what would the government like you to do? Well, they'd like you to ditch these and start using reusable cups now we love these things they're absolutely fantastic and we keep them ourselves but there are a number of issues with them too um, keeping them clean you always obviously have to have one with you at all times they are quite bulky they're not particularly heavy but they're obviously a lot bulkier than having a screwed up plastic bag in your pocket the other factor to consider is embodied energy these cups take an awful lot of energy to produce and yes they will last you a long time but if you break it or if you lose it and you have to go and buy another one, it's probably less efficient than drinking from the paper cups. So what do we think? Well, we agree that the disposable cups are an eco disaster waiting to happen. However, what we're not happy about is the fact that the government are pushing this problem back onto the consumer rather than tackling the issues with the manufacture of it in the first place. We'd like to see more recycling plants. We'd like to see any taxes that are collected from this uh, from this latte levy uh, to be put back into collection points so we can get the disposable cups recycled properly. I would also like to see some tax breaks given to those companies which have been doing really good work and creating biodegradable cups. And there are a number of manufacturers out there. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments box below. So what exactly is this thing then? Well, actually it's a coffee dripper and it's inspired by uh, Japanese origami. Uh, it's made of titanium, very thin, flat titanium. And it's designed to clip together to create uh, a triangular coffee dripper. I'm gonna do my best to demonstrate this here. Now it can be a bit fiddly to do the first time and there is a QR code which is on the bag that you can uh, that you can work out how to do this. It's pretty stable actually. Um, it does take standard filter papers. Uh, you sometimes have to fold them slightly differently so they work, uh, but it's, it's pretty cool I think. Uh, it's got a very minimal design to it and um, it, uh, it weighs next to nothing. So what do we think of this? Well, it's quite cute, really. It's a lovely piece of design, could look very nice uh, around someone's house. Um, it is slightly different to use uh, than a standard V60. You do sometimes get uh, grinds caught in the corners. Uh, it is quite expensive though. It is 50 pounds, uh, much more expensive than a standard plastic V60. But if you're really interested in it being lightweight if for camping touring or you can even put it in your grab bag so uh, come the zombie apocalypse you'll be the most 
caffeinated person out there. What do you think of this? Is this something that you're likely to buy? Uh, let us know in the comments below. The Caffeine Show is brought to you today by the Jitters T-shirt. This is part of our Too Much Caffeine series T-shirts and the best way to support this channel. We'll also give you 20% off your first purchase when you use the code YouTube. Uh, links are in the description down below. And finally on the show, we're gonna make a coffee Negroni. Personally, my favorite coffee cocktail. I'm not a fan of an espresso martini, sorry. Anyway, so first off, we're gonna take um, some cold brew liqueur. Here we have uh, Mr. Black. We're gonna do 20 mils of this. And it goes. And we're gonna follow that with 20 mils of gin. We've got some Sip Smith, really quite nice. In that goes. We're gonna follow that up with 15 mils of Campari. And that goes as well. And finally, we're gonna do uh, 10 mils of sweet vermouth. There we go. In it goes. We're gonna stir this over ice. Ice here. A little bit more. And stir that down. There we go. And all we're gonna do now is garnish this with a piece of orange. There we go. There's our coffee Negroni. That's our favorite coffee cocktail. What's yours? Uh, let us know in the comments below. That's where we're gonna end the show today. So if you enjoyed this video, like what we're trying to do on this channel, then hit that like button. If you uh, wanna see more of these videos, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you've uh, not seen our 2017 London Coffee Festival video, then hit the screen just down over there. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll hopefully see you soon.